know all the trips that the AG has been on in the last three or four years. I really would because I know they're, they're trying to hide that information from the media. One branch of state government is investigating the other and in a way turning the tables. Good evening everyone, I'm Bob Evans. And I'm Kelly Chapman. Usually Utah's top law, law enforcement officer is investigating others, but tonight, as we reported just a few hours ago, dozens of state lawmakers called for an audit of Utah Attorney General Sean Reyes and his office. Fox 13 News investigative reporter Adam Herbetz joins us live in studio tonight to show us what's next. Adam. Yeah, Bob Kelly, these are the 20 Republicans and six Democrats who pushed for the investigation. They want answers to the same questions we've been asking about Attorney General Sean Reyes, his travel schedule, his use of campaign funds, and his ties to the nonprofit Operation Underground Railroad. Here's what we know so far. This was put together very last minute. Most people approached last night to see if they wanted to sign this letter. But the question nobody seems to be able to answer at this point is this. Is this the beginning of an impeachment? Um, I don't know. I, I don't think I don't. I, I think it would be too early, too early to say that if um, several other shoes dropped that that could change. But I don't I don't think we're even close to that threshold right now. Is it fair to say that the results of the audit will help you and your colleagues make that decision? Oh, abs absolutely. And I'm, I'm not saying that that is teed up for a decision right now. Uh, I think I take impeachment very, very seriously. There's been a loss of confidence in the attorney general, but I think that is a very different thing than impeachment. Well, you know, it all depends on what the audit comes up with. You know, if the audit comes up with some uh, nefarious activities, then I think it is the beginning of an impeachment. Um, I, I, I don't I don't know. You know, I don't know anybody that's talking about impeachment right now. I think the public deserves better. And and one thing I would add, Adam, is I don't think the attorney general wants to be the attorney general. He spends a lot of time doing things that are not relevant to his job as attorney general. Reyes has not answered our questions about his fundraising for Operation Underground Railroad. He hasn't answered questions about his use of a personal email to forward fraud complaints to his friend, Tim Ballard. And he hasn't answered questions about what he knew or didn't know about Ballard's ties to the CIA. But the attorney general's office does say it welcomes working with auditors to get them the information they seek. Quote, we are confident they will see what we already know. The office of the Utah attorney general does great work. Now, Bob Kelly, we've already reported that Sean Reyes was under criminal investigation because of his ties to OUR. There were questions about what his office did with OUR money. That did not result in any charges. But keep in mind, our last three attorneys general have all been under criminal investigation at some point. None of them were impeached. So the lawmakers, they've tried before to do an audit. What happened at that point? Well, actually, they tried, at least one lawmaker tried to impeach Reyes back in 2021. That was Representative Andrew Stoddard calling for Sean Reyes to be impeached. That was largely seen as a political move in response to the January 6th riots. It just didn't go anywhere because very few Republicans, if any, supported it. Now, Republicans and Democrats mm -hmm. have questions about OUR and they want answers. Mm -hmm. All right. Adam, we know you'll keep on top of this story. Of course. Thank you. Thanks, Thank you. Adam.